So guys, um, this is Scratch. So you're gonna create a new project, okay? Try to understand it. Don't don't have to. You don't have to follow right now. Just see what how things done. So look, Scratch is br uh, brought into several uh, categories. So he has motion. So anything that moves, like in terms of like has something that's motion, it's on here. So even if you don't know what to do, you can kind of do educational guess and know where your blocks are. Okay. For example, what do we have here? Move, turn. So you hit, we have this and this, guys. These are pretty much similar, same things. Okay? So instead of uh, using turn clockwise, I could, uh, it, it's, uh, to make it uh, go opposite way, I can just put it minus 15. It's the same thing. All right, Amir? So look. Uh, my cat is moving which way? Clockwise, right? Look, I can still make him use uh, go clockwise using the, uh, the opposite one, but you have to put it minus. Same thing. So those are the things you need to understand. Okay. What else do we have? Go to. Look, if you use go to, it's going to make uh, your cat go random places. Look. So think where you can use it. Um, we have another go-to. This go-to makes him go particular coordinates. For example, I want him be in the middle. So what is the coordinates for the middle? Zero, zero. If you would put zero, zero, he would be in the middle. Okay? So here. Sometimes uh, you're going to lose your sprite. It's going to be, it's going to go beyond the uh, edge. So to bring him back, just pull out, go to zero, zero, and bring him back to uh, center, okay? Simple. Now, what's the difference between go to and glide? Go to make him teleport. So you don't see him going there, okay? Glide literally shows you gliding. So here, I want to put him here, and then click on zero, zero. You see, teleport. If you use glide zero, zero, He's going to glide there. Look. That's the difference. Okay? Uh, point in direction gives you a chance to make him go a certain direction. Sometimes it's easier to use go in direction rather than use a turn. It's easier with uh, point in direction. So you're going to see it when I start uh, making the back my game. Okay? Now, let me do an example with a Pac-Man game. So, guys, uh, I need a Pac-Man, right? I want to make one. So, here you add a sprite. Sprite is a particularly uh, 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 character. All right. Okay, uh, let me redo it, guys. So. So, guys, I'm going to use this. You see, this is conditional. When I press on right arrow because i'm going to make him move what should happen when i press on right arrow go to motion look point him to point him to a certain direction so I, when i'm making him move certain direction which way should he be pointing at no 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 right arrow i'm going to make him move to the right you don't have to guess the number because you click here and it goes gives you the lever so you can just uh, regulated like this. This is super easy. He isn't. He wasn't like this before. So look, I'm making him go to the right. Okay. At the same time, at the same time, so he's pointing in that direction. I also need to make him move there. Move. Ten steps. You make ten steps. He's gonna go ten steps. You make him hundred. It's gonna go a little farther. So it's gonna look like he's going fast. Okay. Now, why would I need um? Why would I need costume? This is why. If you guys use next costume, which is under looks, this is how it's going to look like. Look at my uh, Pac-Man. Look, I'm using uh, right arrow. Okay? Like it's animated. Now, I have the right arrow, right? Now I need to duplicate this and put it to the left. Now I change this to left arrow and I change the direction it's pointing at, like this. 
Look what happens when you press on left. It is upside down. So you can say, I don't want it to be upside down. We can fix it. How? 